Hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, I've been quite busy over the last few weeks. Uh, but um, I'm concerned over the things that have been happening in this country for the last few weeks, and especially for the last few days. It is sad that children are being caught in the fire. Or can we say in the tear gas? Uh, children were napping after you have eaten lunch in school. When they had gone to learn, school is supposed to be a place of safety, a safe haven for children. But as they're sleeping, they're tear gassed. Millions of children are about to sit for the exams, the national exams, but they are worried. For example, there's this letter, as you can see it on the screen, of a child who has written to Honorable Matiani requesting to be removed from the list of people who are going to do exams. It may look like a funny or a social media gimmick, but for me as a child protection person, worker, it's a concern. Because that, that person, the, ch the child who wrote that letter is speaking for thousands of other children who don't have a voice. And it's sad that our politicians cannot sit down and talk to each other for the sake of our children. Probably because they don't have younger children, or probably their children are not in this country. But for the sake of these children, can you be able to sit down? If, at night I sleep and I'm thinking, if things burn in this country, who is really going to suffer? I've worked with families and mothers in different parts of this country, and they always come to my mind. Where are they going to go? Where are these children going to go? I have, I have spoken to children who have said, please, can you tell our leaders we want peace? Can you tell our leaders to stop tribalism? Can you tell our leaders to stop hate? And this is coming from children who are below the age of 13 and they are begging our leaders to sit down and talk to each other. And that's, that's my request. That forget about your ambition and as one pastor said, swallow your pride and your ego. It's not fattening. It's actually cuts free. Just swallow it. Swallow your pride. Swallow your ego. Swallow your ambition. For the sake of this country. For the sake of the children of this country. Because you do not want to be remembered as the person who made can the country burn. You don't want to be remembered as the person who caused millions of children to die. Because you could not sit on a table and talk. Today, I took my child to school in the morning. And I was, as I was speaking her, she asked me, Mommy, how was your day? Uh, how was your meeting? Have you been tear gassed? Like she, she thinks tear gassing is the norm. It's the in thing. It's the new thing that's happening. Can you imagine tear gassing? She doesn't know what even tear gassing is because she's had it so many times on TV and because I've been tear gassed like twice. She thinks it's the normal thing that when you go to, a, to work at a meeting, when you're coming back home, you have to be tear gassed. That's not how the way you want to bring up our children. That is not the way, the thing that we want to pass on to our children. We have a beautiful country. From Nyanza to the coast, from Turkana, all the way from Tutaita. This is a beautiful, beautiful country. And we can't destroy it because of our ambitions, because of our pride, because we cannot talk to each other. And because we feel the other persons have, have wronged us. Yes. Elections were rigged. Yes. The, the, the Supreme Court nullified your elections. Okay, fine. It does happen. Why don't we sit down and we discuss about our children? That is more productive than going around fighting each other with words or with stones. Whichever. It's fighting. As a mother, as a child protection specialist, and especially as a Kenyan who love this country very much, I'll pray that you, as a leader, to kindly sit down 
and talk. Thank you very much. Please remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram. Thank you and God bless you.